Hi, welcome back to Ocean Beauty. In this video, I'll be letting you guys in on what I use to do this really bomb twist out. Like, do y'all see the definition? And it's like day four, and it's still moisturized and stuff. Like, y'all, look at this. Just look, just look at the evidence. Before I tell y'all, I'm going to give y'all 10 seconds to try to guess a line or whatever products y'all think I use. I'm going to be right back in 10 seconds. Okay, I am back. This is a product that has basically been banned from the natural hair community, but the other day I seen this natural, like she had the prettiest hair ever, and she was able to retain length really well, and she's been consistent with the products that she's been using for like a couple of years. So I was like, hmm, let me give that a try. So, the moment y'all have I went back to the basics and used that blue magic on my hair. I know we said that we are moving away from grease and all of that stuff, but y'all, honestly, I feel like for type 4 hair naturals, you really need something that's going to seal in the moisture. So, before I use this, I had washed and conditioned, deep conditioned my hair and all that good stuff. And then um, I used the Garnier Fruit Peace leave-in i want to show y'all the bottle but i actually just ran out but i use that leave-in and then i use um olive oil i always use that it's like a super light oil that always works good on my hair and then the final product to seal all that in i use that good blue magic and you can get a lot for a pretty good price like, I'm pretty sure y'all remember your mom sitting you down or whatever, then she would use this to twist your hair or put it in some braids or something, because I know my mom did. But, yeah, a lot of us have shied away from this, but y'all, it really works good, because this is like day four hair, and the definition and the moisture is still there. And it's like, dang, I spent so much money on other products that didn't give me this moisture like how this did it's crazy it does have like petroleum in it and we did say like this kit clog um like the pores in your scalp if that's what it's called or it could clog your scalp or whatever but i didn't even use this on my scalp i just used it to seal my hair the only oil that i ever really use on my scalp is jamaican black castor oil i've been like standing by that since before i baked chop because it gives me good growth. I feel like Jamaican black castor oil is a great oil for growth, so that's the only oil that ever goes on my head. The other oils um, that I would mention to you guys, I usually just use it to seal in my hair, and I usually switch between a couple, but on my scalp, Jamaican black castor oil. But maybe if you're a type 4 hair natural, you can try this out. You know, it's very, it's, it's inexpensive. It's not expensive at all. Um, smells pretty good. A little goes a long way. And my hair still feels so moisturized. And it's like cold outside. Like, I've been outside a couple of days in the cold with my hair out. And usually, like, in the winter, it would be so quick to dry out. But, y'all, I was outside in 30-degree weather. 30-degree weather. And it is still moisturized that's crazy and I'm gonna blame it on this because I've used other stuff to like seal in the moisture it would kind of do it but it would still become so dry and frizzy and um I had picked this up at Walmart the other day after I seen someone else use it and I was like hmm, maybe I should try it out but to track the growth that I get with this I'm going to use this for like a month or two like strictly the um, Garnier Fruit Tea Shampoo and Conditioner and Leave-In, the olive oil, Jamaican Black Cast Oil on my scalp, and this. 
I'm gonna stay straight to that so I can track the growth and compare it to other things because I really think I can get far with this if I can actually retain like the moisture and when you can retain moisture and your hair stays moisturized you can retain length better like well it's pretty shrunken right now let me find a random corner show it all it's like past APL right now um in another video I'll probably do like a really accurate limb check but it's like past APL now you can't really see it in the but it's pretty long, so I have a pretty good idea of exactly where it is. So I'm gonna be using all the products that I just listed for like a month or two to track the growth. But yeah, y'all should try this out. It seems like a pretty good sealant because my hair is still so moisturized. Like some people would say they used to dry their hair out, but I think they only used to dry their hair out because they only use this as a moisturizer but you can't only use the blue magic as a moisturizer you can use it as a sealant like you need um the leave-in and the oil before you put this on i feel like that this seals in that stuff better you cannot just use this like straight on freshly washed hair you need a sealant and this can be the thing that seals your hair as long as you moisturize it right. You can either do the LOC method or the LCO method. Um, I'm kind of confused by the LCO method. But actually not really because you can use the oil to seal it in too. But I like the LOC method which is like leave-in and oil and a cream. Like I said before, the leave-in that I used was Garnier Fructis, the oil, olive oil. And then... The cream, which is can be like the sealant, I just use this. And I, honestly, y'all, I feel like I just been sleeping on that like for a couple of years because I think the last time I used this was like elementary school or something because we all shied away. We was like, no, petroleum's bad. Yeah, it can be bad, but I feel like if you use something like this for a sealant, that it can actually work out good for you. But just look. guys know how the growth goes but yeah thank you for watching my video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and share bye